brand new Valentine costumes are here, and man, are these costumes some of the best costumes we've got in the game thus far. I mean, especially this Meliodas one is super, super nice. I know the Purgatory Meliodas has quite a few costumes at this point, but man, is this one something else? And with the release of the Escanor costume, also getting a final headpiece, meaning he is once again the highest CC character in the entire game. Very, very nice to see. You absolutely love to see that kind of stuff. Really hoping we can, yeah, dwindle down the Escanor to at least get him into his revives. I know I did just inspect him, but I didn't pay too much attention to the alt level, which could be a bit of a problem. Um, of course, going to be running the Purgatory Melilla just with the Tamiya link. Uh, I think ever since his release, it's a lot more beneficial to have him alive than to have the Estorosa alive. I know darkness is very important, all that kind of stuff, getting us off the extra stats, but if this Meliodas is alive and he can get his kind of passive proc and get the massive damage, he's going to be doing just fine. So that as well. I mean, he's on attack crit and he's still tanking that fairly decently. I know the single target card isn't going to do as much damage when Estorosa is in his revived state, but I mean, yeah, everyone survives this one here. We can... Ah. I mean, we can still get rid of Escanor with the two Zeldris cards, just doing as little damage as possible. Or... Could do something like this instead. Yeah, I'm thinking that's a go. I probably could go ahead and kill the DM with the AoE in just a weak single target, but this way we at least get the guaranteed kill on DM, which is very, very important. And then we just go through on the field. We're going to be just fine, but... Demon team is still massively on top. I don't think there's anything that can really beat at this point. Unless, and we've been having a lot of teasers and stuff on Twitter, um, new festival for what I believe is the global anniversary, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't been paying a crazy amount, but pretty much everyone's guessing that it is finally going to be a Mayel. Uh, whether it's going to be the Bell Mayel or a kind of like real Mayel, uh, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Remember on the back, very interesting. Yeah, super excited to finally have a Mayel team. I'm guessing it's going to be a my old team, having the, him be a team leader, all that kind of stuff. We'll just have to wait and see whether or not he's going to be a light or a dark type character. Very interested about that one there. Uh, let's go one and... I mean, we can just deal with you later, right? Actually, if we don't go ahead and kill the Gotha here... Ah, oh, but the Gotha's going to move Ultimate Gage. I was going to say, we could at least get the animation or the cut in in the first match, but doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Who knows, Meliodas could just go ahead and kill here. Is he He's going to do that for us, please? Oh, I mean, why wouldn't of course? With this Mael potentially being a light type character, who knows, will the Archangel team go straight back to the top, or will he be supporting both of the Dark and Light race? It's... I definitely want to see what they're going to be able to do with that one. Uh, can we kill Melly right off the bat here? I don't think we can, in all honesty. Especially if he has the time, Grace here, we could just be screwed. Yeah. Uh... I may just go for something like this, I think it's an alright play. Uh, and then I guess we just move this Ultras card. I mean, he can still by all means get the passive proc, but I don't know how worth it that's going to be for him. Mm, yeah, this is a bit risky. I'm kind of just hoping he's going to attack into us. This is the only thing about the Demon Team, is the Dittos can definitely be something hard to deal with. We do have Kusark backline, so I'm hoping we tank okay. Um, him using his melee cards to start things off is kind of nice. We could have gone ahead and used ours for the extra darkness procs, but I just don't feel like that's really worth it. Um, how close is that going to get us to... See, so yeah, there's his true magic. Oh, and he ended up getting the additional and the yeah, level 2 single target. God damn it, why, why can't we be the ones getting that kind of luck? Of course. Uh, I mean, at least that means we should be able to go ahead and get rid of his melee right away. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to turn that fan off. <laughs> uh, let's go one. I guess I'll just throw out the AoE and then... Uh, no, we'll... I didn't see that we had that one there. We'll go one, two, and then three. And we can kind of see how much damage this one does. Very important that we keep the infect. I haven't been using the Purgatory Meliodas as much as I should be as of recent. He's still very, very powerful, though. Yeah, it's... Now that we've gotten him out of the way, I know he does still have the Estoros from the Zeldris, but we should be just fine. And then actually getting to show off the Zeldris cut in. This one is a weak point. Yeah, kind of unfortunate that you don't have the debuff as well. Uh, we'll just go like this. I think I'd rather shot these or just ultimate damage since we do have him 6 out of 6 now, which is very nice. Him being a limited character for whatever reason that Marble decided to do that still seems kind of ridiculous to me, but that should be enough to kill. Wow, unless he was really going to live that. Oh, please don't tell me the single target's going to go for... Man, I should have actually should have gone ahead and targeted the Molescula. That's, that's on me. I'm really hoping we get to see the cut in at least once, because I think one of the best ones in the game, just like the costume. And another ditto. Uh, at least it's a different player. Hopefully that means, yeah, Sariel Association. I'm thinking I may just go straight for the kill on Meliodas. I should probably go ahead and target him first. 
it's been so long that I'm not too sure if I can do this, especially with Estorosa on a HP defense set. Could be a little bit risky. Let's see though. Covert action. Yeah, definitely a misplay there. Okay, I won't go ahead and do that from now on, but at least we can at least see. I mean, would have helped if Amaliotis had crit whatsoever, but uh, well, I guess that's going to be the way things are. Um, we still have all right card draw here. A single target card, especially with the Infect out, is probably just going to be enough to get rid of Amaliotis anyways. Um, we could even probably try running our Zeldris with a Green Sariel Grace. Probably be a nice way to change things up. Oh, I'm guessing there's a bot due to the... I mean, it's probably a good way to actually go ahead and test that. Uh, is there any way I can... I think I might just go something like this. We can at least use this match and get something out of it by showing off that cut in. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys still think the Demon Team is the most fun team in the game? I sure as hell really enjoyed using the Ragnarok team whilst 4v4 was out. Frey was just absolutely insane in that game mode and with that team. Uh, having the Ragnarok DN along with Brunhold, all that kind of stuff, it just synergized so well. And it's unfortunate because the second you put her in 3v3 or with an unknown team, which she is still an unknown race character, she shouldn't do terribly with them. But... She just doesn't hold up, it's real, real unfortunate, but hey, oh well, hopefully we get some more Ragnarok PvP support. Um, I'm guessing that's not going to be the case, but who knows. It's If we get another Ragnarok release, I'm hoping it'll be a character to actually help out with the new Demonic Beast battle. Stuff is way too difficult, way too RNG. It's probably one of the more time-dependent ones as well. You end up stalling for so long in some of the first two phases that, man, especially on the final phase for the second floor and the third floor, Stuff can take absolutely forever, but hopefully a barn doesn't get the... Oh, are you kidding me, man? He gets the ult seal? Oh, no, that was level one. Okay, that's fine then. I thought he got the level three, which is the same one as the um, Festecution of Zoltres, where you get the Dissolve and to get ult sealed, but that's all right. We'll throw this one up here, and then we'll get into the next match, but come on. I mean, is that not just the greatest got him? I mean, we could, of course, get a really good Holy Relic to help us with the Demonic Beast battle. We could potentially use Freya, but I know he's a character that's so good in all of the Demonic Beast battles. Maybe if you just got a universal buff for that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm guessing you don't have... Yeah, because Chandler would probably have the red Tarmiel Grace, wouldn't you? Sorry, I'll Tarmiel on you? Wow, that's a really strange way to play it. I'm thinking I'm going to go for this here, and then we'll just merge those two. That way we get the two Darkness procs, get as much damage on Chandler whilst he hasn't got that up. I mean, Melee's still not going to do a crazy amount of damage, but... At least puts a dent in Chandler. But yeah, if Freya was to get some kind of universal Demonic Beast battle buff, I think that'd be very nice for his Holy Relic. He can still be used in PvP, but it's definitely not his strong suit. He, he can get away with it just due to how good his kit is. Uh, I still think we'd still be deserving a character just for that Demonic Beast battle. With how long it takes to grind that third floor, I know people like Amazing have done it. I'm not too sure if he's done it again after his first attempt. Um, yeah, it's... Oh, wow. Huge misplay on his behalf there. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I just... It's not something I can be grinding weekly. It takes too long to beat stage 1 and 2, let alone going ahead and doing the whole thing. So, uh, I think this might be the best way for us getting out some damage. I probably should have gone ahead and used the level 1 there on the channel. That was massively overkill. Oh, well, we're both misplaying. Who cares? It's the demon team. We can both get away with it anyways. Uh, but yeah, Demonic Beast Battle is still a whole lot of fun. I don't think there's any dem uh, Demon Holy Relics I want as of yet. Uh, I think I'm mainly waiting for a really good Mon Speed or Dairy One, I think, my two main picks. And final opponent, another Demon Team. I swear it's not usually this bad with the Demon Teams, but oh, well, I'm, I'm not complaining. We got Sariel, Tamiel on Asterosa maybe, because it's definitely not going to be going on Zeldris. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I can live with that. Uh, and then I guess I'll just merge you over. That could potentially be a mistake. Once again, he can still get the Meliodas proc if he wants to go something like Zeldris Infect, uh, Meliodas AoE, and then use the single target card. That's getting the block on our Zeldris there is just fine. I'd rather get the Darkness procs anyways. Um, this is alright, we can still live with this. Um, yeah, no, that should be good. But I wonder if we're going to get a whole bunch of other content with the... Oh, I should say what other content we're going to be getting with the Myel update, because... It's very common for Netmobile to just go ahead and reuse bosses. I'm hoping they at least give us something different for what's going to be such a huge update. Really hoping. I also would like them to finally catch us up with the JP version, especially if it's an anniversary. Going ahead and, you know, as a treat, making both of the games synced up would be very, very nice. It's kind of unfortunate because those global players, even though it's only four days behind, you know, JP players get all this cool new content and then we have to wait. We've already seen everything by the time they come to the global version. 
Uh, what do we want to go for here? We do have a lot of darkness procs. Could I just go for something like this and potentially get away with it? Who knows, maybe. I think Gamaliotis might do a little less damage than I wanted with the AoE. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We still got rid of Purgatory Meliodas, and then Esteros is not going to be able to do a crazy amount with how many darkness procs we have. But yeah, a whole lot of new nice content. Uh, maybe a new final boss could be very, very cool with a new cosmetic. Uh, I'm not too sure really what I want to see for them doing that kind of stuff. It's, what do we get for the last anniversary is the main question, because Gacha Games love kind of repeating what they've done, or at least keeping a schedule and expectations the same as previous years, so... Whatever we get down, if I have to go ahead and have another look at it, we'll most likely be getting for this anniversary, or kind of a replica of that. Ah, damn, the Meliodas passive, cleansing the encroach. That is ridiculous how strong that is. <laughs> Man, it's if this is a real player, he's going to be so mad about that one. Uh, and then at this point, we can go ahead and, in fact, finish off Asterosa, and then the game is a GG. No melee cards to kind of use that passive with, but... <clears throat> Super glad the demon team's still on top. I don't know how much longer this is going to be the case for. And we get the forfeit. God damn. I mean, whole lot of fun. Still trying to rank up. I haven't been playing geared PvP an awful lot. I've just been doing a whole lot of ungeared, which I've been really, really enjoying, which is very, very unlike me. But there we go. That just about does it for today's video. Meliota skin super, super, super fire. God damn. It is, it is just far too good. Going to be doing the rest of the Valentine's cosmetics over the next couple days. But once again, that just about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If so, Please hit like, one, subscribe. Really means a lot to me, and I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.